Good morning, Team Iceland. It is a snowy, cold winter day today in Reykjavik and it's Monday and that means that it is grocery shopping day and we're going to Costco today. So I recently reached out on my Instagram account and asked you guys what you want to know about Costco specifically because I know that a lot of you, when you're traveling to Iceland, want to use Costco for some grocery shopping. And since we go there every week, I thought this would be a great opportunity to film a video and show you all of the stuff that they have, some prices, what might be different compared to your Costco back at home. So let's go to Costco. So we are just finishing up snack time and then we're going to hit the road. You want to go to Costco? So the first thing to know is that there is one Costco location in Iceland and it is located between Keflavik Airport and Reykjavik city center. So it is perfect for those that are, you know, arriving at the airport and driving into Reykjavik anyway. Uh, otherwise, if you are in the city center already, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes to drive out to Costco. The first thing that I would recommend is to check the store hours because just like most things in Iceland, the hours are quite limited. So they might be different compared to the hours that you are used to. Like most Costco memberships, you just have to present your membership card at the door. Um, they're, they're scanning everyone that comes through. And from what I believe, uh, you are able to use your international Costco card. So no matter where you are from, um, your Costco card should work. One thing I always do when we are headed to Costco is fill up my gas tank because they usually have some pretty competitive prices. I would say that fuel prices in Iceland um, are not extremely variable, but of course, because they're such a big retailer, then they are able to offer a competitive price on fuel. For that, of course, you also have to use your membership card. Another thing is that it is extremely easy to pay for your Costco purchase. Um, they just have a card reader that you can use a debit or credit card at. Uh, I'm sure you can use cash as well. I've never done it, but that should be something that's accepted. There are three extra services at Costco, if you will. Um, the first one is like tire and auto, which I'm pretty sure is not gonna be applicable to tourists. Um, another one is their like cafe, rest cafe, restaurant? I don't know. <laughs> it's They sell pizza, hot dogs, ice cream, I'm pretty sure that most people that visit Costco like to grab a little treat at the end. So that's good to know. And the last thing is that this Costco does have alcohol sales, but they are not available to the general public. So this is actually a huge difference um, compared to, I'm from the US and so uh, the Costco it, that I used to go to in the US would have really great prices on alcohol um, and you know that could be something that a way that you could save money but you can't do that here it is actually only um, available for like big uh, resellers of alcohol so if you own a restaurant or a bar you can purchase your alcohol at Costco so the same holds true that I have always said, and that is that you should buy your alcohol at duty free if you're trying to save money that way. All right, here's the fuel. Prices are 252 per liter for benzene and 248 per liter for diesel. I would say that this is always a very busy place for the locals to get fuel, this is actually a really short line for a, t a typical day. Usually there's more lines on the weekend.
So when you come in, you have your typical electronic section. Uh, over here on the left is like the houseware stuff. In the back corner is going to be fruits and vegetables, meats. Um, refrigerated and frozen is in the other back corner. And then you have along the back wall is all of the, the pantry items. And then the cash register is here. At the front, we have the cafe or whatever it's called. The hot bar, I don't know. And then up here is the liquor sales, which you can't go to. Over here is the tire and that's the exit. Oh yeah, I forgot. In the middle here is like all of their clothing items. So, you know, sometimes I actually can find good things in here. They have stuff for men, women, and kids. It's like a, you never know what you're gonna get. Nice match of stuff. Oh, another kind of pro tip is that oftentimes in like this section right here behind the clothes, they'll have things like, um, like the fleece neck warmers or some really nice gloves, depending on what time of year it is. So I would check that section too. Maybe you can grab something that's helpful for your trip. All right, here's the produce section. I would say <clears throat> they don't have like the biggest selection for produce and it's not always that they have everything. <laughs> so it's, you know, hit or miss. Uh, some of my favorites in here are the berries. Those are usually cheaper than the regular grocery stores. Someone asked about dried fruit. There is dried fruit back there. I see dried mango. Here's some of their bakery items, so you can get those in bulk if you want a bunch of sweets. So that's good. You have the bakery, the bread stuff over there. Oh, I like to get their potatoes. Um, ooh, those right there. These uh, with the green label, those are super good. Refrigerated fruits and vegetables. I like to get their kiwi. It's so delicious. It's a golden kiwi. If you've never changed it, if you've never tried golden kiwi, it will change your life. So try it. They have some blueberries here. 1300 kroner. I always like to check the quality. I mean, these look pretty good, but you never know when you're buying in bulk, right? It could go bad faster. We got some fresh broccoli that's already cut up. That might be nice for like a camper van trip. Muffins? Oh, muffins? Those are gigantic. Oh my, those look really good. Okay, we're not getting those. Brownies, cake balls, cookies. All right, their meat section is my favorite. Um, we tend to get a lot of our meat here. Um, this is ground beef that's packaged in huge quantities. Actually, come to think about it, you guys probably won't need this much meat ever, so. But here's a bunch of fish. like a huge uh, cut of salmon, some salmon pieces. Again, probably too much bulk for uh, one trip, but if you have a big group, it might come in handy. Yes, that's chicken. chicken. Lamb. Got lamb pieces. Over here, I think you have some steaks and roasts and you know, again, things that tourists probably aren't gonna need deli meats, um, specialty cheeses, olives, hummus, all that kind of good stuff. I tend to like this section. Um, oh, avocado or guacamole is usually over here. Some prepackaged soups I see, pasta, pesto. So there's like a lot of really, yeah, there's, I think that's, there's a decent variety here. It's a matter of what you need and how much you need of it, right? This is their delicious hummus that I love. So like household cleaning products and like 
garbage bags. You guys definitely don't need that. We got water um, and sodas in bulk, so that might come in handy. Mm, paper plates, uh, napkins, energy drinks. Hello. <laughs> Check these out. We've got frozen shrimp. We've got frozen fish sticks. Like frozen rice bowls, spring rolls. Gyozas, hello, those are delicious. Eggs, bacon, that comes in bulk. Little um, tray of 24 eggs. Or frozen stuff, like ice cream stuff. Frozen fruits, frozen avocado, frozen vegetables, those might be um, handy. Cheese. Like just your basic, you know, cheese slices and shredded cheeses. Um, they have a gigantic cooler of skier. So, you know, for those skier lovers, you can load up juices, milk and butter, coffee, tea, um, oat milk, almond milk, lots of cereals, mm, peanut butter, honey, Cereals, pancake mix, honey, peanut butter, oatmeal, Nutella, jam. Here we have some condiments. And tuna. It's a really good brand. Ketchup, mayo, mustard, salad dressings. What else do I think we need down here? These rice packet things. That would be handy for a camper van or just anyone. Beans, pasta sauce, more rice than anyone ever need so large snack section macadamia clusters those are a classic so you definitely need those uh very icelandic candy that is a favorite in our household called crop highly recommend that you get those licorice red and black looks like we got some Soft candies. I don't. I don't know. Lots of chips, crackers, things like that. Popcorn. Ooh, hello. Ugh. This would be fantastic for any road trip. A gigantic bag of popcorn. Actually, definitely get that. Lots of different chips, crackers, pretzels. Those are really good. Lentil chips. I've had those before. Those are really good. I have had these also. Super good. It's like chocolate bark with nuts in them. Ooh. Perfect road trip snacks. Protein bars are like these nut bars. Those are good. Got some steak strips. Those are really good for a road trip. This looks amazing. This is a popcorn peanut pretzel chocolate mix. Yes. Let's not skip over the personal care section. So there's, you know, toothbrushes and vitamins and stuff. Cashews, almonds, mixed nuts. All good stuff. Also, someone asked me on Instagram if they give out samples at this Costco. And the answer is sometimes. I'm not really sure the rhyme or reason on that, but I have seen samples here before. It's just that they're not here today. Maybe it's something they do on the weekends. Okay, sorry. Do you want to get a hot dog? You do? You do?
remember you have to keep your receipt when you check out of the door at Costco. So, fun fact. All right, but we're gonna stop at the hot bar. I have no idea what this place is called. <laughs> Le Restaurante de Costco. Okay, so what do we have? I would say the most common thing that people get here is pizza and hot dogs. Their ice cream has to be good because it's Iceland. But you can see, let's see, a uh, hot dog and soda combo is 300 kroner, which is about $2, 250. Um, you can buy a whole pizza for 2200, which is about $20, $18, 18 to $20 US dollars. You can get a slice of pizza for 600, which is about four, $5. <laughs> Coffee, hamburger, I mean cheeseburger, and then ice cream. So let's uh, let's order our tried and true. And for those of them that ask, I know you're excited. It's very hot. The hot dog in Iceland is way better than the hot dog in the U.S. It is 100% meat, so there's like not a bunch of junk in it. And yes, we love it. Don't eat it. Okay. Let's turn this audio off. Okay. Let me try it. This is so hot. Hold on. Can you blow? Can you blow? Oh, it's too hot. Is it good? Do you want some more? And here we are with some fresh snow in the parking lot, which is not uncommon. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful and maybe you can use cost for you for your trip because if you have a membership and you need certain things, it can be really good for saving money. If you found this video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because every week, new Iceland videos. We just want you to have the best trip ever. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, happy planning.